So quickly, what I want to talk about in this video is the five basic parts of a business. Now, every business has different components to it, and people try to make this overly complex, but I'm about to explain this to you very simply, the five different parts of business. So let's dive right into it. So the first part of business has to do with your marketing component. Now, I will say this. These are interchangeable. There's no particular order or importance. They all are equally important, but I'm just going to go through them. So the first part is marketing. The marketing segment of your business basically deals with everything that does outreach for your business. So getting brand awareness, uh, driving traffic, all those things are your marketing. And this is the part of business that people are really infatuated with. I mean, when people get into business, this is what they focus on the most, their branding, their logos. They want to make sure this is all good, but they don't focus on the other elements of business. Now I can tell you, you come into a course like this, you've got an advantage because you know you have to focus on all aspects of your business, not just one. But the first part is marketing. The next part of your business is sales. This is basically where we take the marketing efforts and convert them into customers. So this could be something maybe you have to get on the phone and sell somebody. This may have to do with your actual advertising sales copy that brings a person to a page and then converts them into a lead. Now remember in the other video I said there's three basic parts of business which is lead generation, lead conversion, lead retention. So lead conversion has to do with sales. When somebody come, becomes a lead or you get a lead or however you get somebody into the funnel, how are you going to convert them? Are you going to get on the phone and sell them? Do you build a sales team? In strengthening each part of these business, you'll understand how you can grow your business and understand how to focus on your business if you understand the five basic parts. So the next part we'll talk about is value creation. So in this course, we're going to talk about the 12 forms of economic value that businesses create. But to give you just a quick overview, say you create a product or a service. Well, there has to be a system or a process of how you deliver that value to a customer. So improving your primary value delivery system, the service, product, or whatever you have in your business that you deliver to an end user or a customer, that is the value creation element of your business. And that is important to lock down because a lot of businesses, you would actually be surprised, don't know how they create value or, or they're not very clear about their value creation. The next part is value delivery. So how do you actually deliver that value to the customer? So value creation, the difference here is value creation has to do with the creation of the product. Delivery has to do how you actually get it to the customer. So I remember a while back looking at books on systems and they talk about these big companies, they understand end to end exactly how they're going to bring a product to you. So for example, if you go to a store and you see somebody selling a bag of chips, they understand from the point of wherever they produce the ingredients all the way down to when it gets on a truck to when it gets to the store and you pick it up off the shelf, they have that mapped out exactly how they're going to deliver that value to you. They know exactly how to get it to you. Let's say it's an online product. They know exactly how they're going to deliver the value they created and the other aspect of their business to you. And this is huge to understand when it comes to business. And the final part of business is finance, understanding the financial aspects of your business. So this has to do with knowing things like your three balance, your three financial statements. This has to do with things like understanding how your cash flow works. All these financial elements and aspects, uh, taxes, things like that, understanding these elements make the five basic parts of business. So once you understand these, you'll understand these are the things I need to focus on and improve these things. The reason I like to break it down these models for you and make it very simple for you is because a lot of times we overcomplicate things. And if we can just do what they call KISS, keep it simple, stupid. I'm not calling you stupid. It's just an expression. But the point is, if we can just keep it simple and understand putting these different models in our head the right way, we can simplify the business process and know what we're supposed to focus on. So to recap those five things, we have one, the marketing aspect of your business, which is how you create awareness and get people to your business. Two, the sales aspect, which has to do with all the ways that you actually take those things that you did in marketing convert, and convert them into customers. Three, value creation, how you actually create value. And stay tuned later because we're going to talk about the 12 forms of economic value so you understand the value creation aspect of your business. Four, which is value delivery, how you actually take that value that you created and get it to a customer. How does a customer 
get that value from you? How do you, how you deliver it to them? And finally, finance. Um, if you don't have this financial aspect, you don't have a business because if a business is not actually generating any revenue, well, it's not a business. So these are the five basic parts of business. And once you understand this, you'll be a lot more powerful in how you can approach business. On to the next. <music>